Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm Mega. And I'm Ryan. And today we're going to be talking about the lightweight super fight that's going on this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. What do you think about it? Um, definitely stoked for it. We've been watching the lead up to this ever since it was announced. Yep. I mean, every day we're, we're checking out all the news or social media posts. Last night we were watching them on IG Live and what everyone was saying about it. Yep. So um, I'm excited for it. I know, you know, even though Devin Haney holds all the belts, these two are really phenomenal athletes in their division. And I think they're going to put on a show. Past few weeks, we've been going back and watching several of their fights, at least the past three fights for each of them. And um, yeah, I just uh, that's why we're doing this. Wanted to chat about it. So uh, that IG live, I don't know if you guys the, seen it, but it was it was funny. It was them going back and forth, and uh, Tank had that hype man. Yeah, oh, that was, was hilarious. Like, I, want, I need one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it, so and, the IG live was putting betting the whole entire purse, betting the whole, everything on the line. Who knows how it's, real that is? It's not official yet because even Tank was like, I got to have my advisor actually, you know, let me do this and, and do the paperwork. Yeah. But it was fun to see. It's part of the hype, part of the buildup, whatever happens, you know. Um, but it was interesting because not talking box on their boxing and yet and their technical skills. But even in that, like some of the things probably in the, in the lead up to this, I wasn't sure if Ryan was faking confidence for yeah. the camera yeah. or if he was really confident. But on that IG live, I was like, I don't know. I got the vibe that he's really ready and he's just like, yeah, I'll do it. Like yeah, he really believes in himself. He's it ready. didn't seem like he was like, you know, in fear with that. Yeah. Um, but you could definitely tank. Tank was like, let's see what I can, you know, yeah. let's see if as, I can get to as him. As soon as Ryan was like, okay, Tank was like, oh, word, you see yeah. this? Got like, on his phone, yeah. got on his man. And Tank's <laughs> hype man, whoever his friend was, really was hilarious. Oh, he was hilarious, um, yeah. And but I tell you, it's going to be a really good fight because both fighters, both fighters have a big, both fighters have been, have started boxing from an early age. Yes. They have a big amateur record. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now their professional record is undefeated. And they're yeah. both very skilled. They're they're both, like, in their prime yeah. at the top of their game. So it's going to yeah. be... it's. I mean... It's going to be a war. Tank is a few years older and yeah. has a few more professional fights on yep. him. But, yeah, they both are performing incredibly well right now. This and I a, think... Uh, talking technical stuff and what people have been saying and even other pro athletes giving their opinion or pro bo former pro boxers and currently pro boxers is I'll say let's talk about Ryan Garcia first okay so everyone's like oh man that left hook that you know his his hook and we went back and started watching his fights and we had a slow-mo a lot of moments down and it's a phenomenal it is that left it's hook real lands. yeah that left hook lands and and it so lands yes at will. He has that, but I think he also is going to bring more tools and more skills to the table. It looks like it looks like that left hook is practiced so much. It almost looks like it lands all on its own. Like he just, yeah. he just, it's just like an automatic thing. It's so quick and, and he does it. I don't even think he realizes he throws his left hook. And it goes different levels. Too. Yeah, it goes different like that. I, Oh, yeah. go on. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, you, you say it, say it, say it. <laughs> no, yeah. I was going to say that um, I forget who the fighter was that he that he knocked he knocked down with the body punch, that left body punch. It was kind of like a gazelle. Um, a gazelle. Was it uh, that la hook. the last guy he fought? Yeah. Um, let me look. Yeah, but I'm talking about... Fortuna. Yeah, Fortuna. He yeah. just left forward and bam, bang yeah. him. And that left hook is strong. You know, he, he's practiced so much that... He knows exactly when to rotate his body in just to make it effective yeah. and strong. I was also just, I just thought of it kind of, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a cat's reflexes are so fast. If you just throw like a piece of paper at they it, don't even they're know. like, they don't, they don't even realize just, it's happening. I like, that's a good way to think about yeah. Ryan's hook. Yeah. But yeah. I think both of them, okay, we're still going to talk about Ryan, but yeah, I think he's going to have more tools and he's, um, 
we're gonna come with some new stuff and just he he's gotta in, yeah I mean he has to <laughs> but uh, trying to think like I think after Camp Campbell was I guess talking about Ryan I think the hardest person he's fought so far. Um, would be Campbell. Yeah. And then the last yeah. two guys he fought he got knocked were out. both great and yeah. they were both like 33 years old, but they were probably near the end of their career. I'm mm-hmm. not saying they were old or washed up at all, but you could just tell like they had like 30 something yeah. wins and mm-hmm. you know, they had great records. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that after watching the Fortuna fight, you're like, oh, okay, but I think those you know, and he got another southpaw in, so like I think that was good for him. But yeah. building up that confidence, getting some more experience, finding another southpaw. Um, let's talk about Javante a little bit, and then we'll talk about yeah. both of them. Yeah, Javante. Yeah. Has Javante has got that speed? So does Ryan, but he's got yeah. that speed. He's got that amazingly fast footwork, which I saw, especially. With his fight against um, Isaac, Isaac Cruz, yeah. like I'm talking about, when he fought Isaac Cruz, Isaac Cruz is so good that I saw, yeah. I think the best Javante Davis performance yeah. against him because he had to. Yeah, and it was even funny at the end of the fight. Yeah, he was like they were like, uh, "You gonna give him a rematch?" He's, He's like, like, "Hell, hell no!" Does no. deserve a rematch? Hell no! Yeah, <laughs> we went back and watched that fight, and that's. That's one of my favorite fights too. Just Yo, that, not just of Gervonta. like that. I just loved watching that fight. Yeah, Isaac Cruz's um, defense. Yeah, but beautiful. even against the best people they each have fought. Yeah, it's still gonna be totally different. Like, like Gervonta's never gonna have fought someone like Ryan. Yeah. Ryan's have never gonna fought someone like Gervonta. Yeah. And I think, like you said, they both have been fighting since they were young. Both have had phenomenal mentors. Whether it's yeah. you know. Even though Gervonta's not with Mayweather now, you know, he's just ready to be out on his own. And it seems like there's no bad beef or yeah, anything. Yeah, but he's, he's learned from and, him so yeah, much. Yeah, right. Oh, I mean, to learn from Mayweather and yeah. Ryan to learn from, from Oscar, Oscar De La, De La Hoya. Even he's promote his promoter now, but, you know, they still have more on their team and are learning a lot. But, like, dang. This like, almost reminds me, of, from the look of them, it almost yeah. remi- it, it almost looks like... You know what it looks like? It it almost looks like there's a movie about the De La Hoya and Mayweather match, yeah. and they're Paris. starring in it. Yeah. It looks it looks, it looks Actually, the same, you know. I wasn't thinking of it like a movie, <laughs> but I was thinking like, wow, like, like a reenactment. Yeah, I was like man, it's, you know, history repeats itself. Yeah, but, it's crazy. Um, both of them, I think, are going to be phenomenal. Oh and yeah, this is going to be a good fight. Uh, man, it just slipped my mind what I was going to say. Uh. I would say both, I'm sure, have had great sparring partners. Both have have plans. And I don't think what you see on social media or any of the the media of the training days, like they're not showing who they're sparring with and they're not showing what they're practicing because they're both going to have totally new yeah, they're, they're just like, showing, plans going in. They're just showing what like they feel the yeah. people want to see and you know, what's satisfying the, the, uh, like, the fans. You know, I, I like both of them, but it is funny when people are saying Ryan is just a YouTuber and a pretty boy. I think he just knows how to use those to his advantage, and he's in that generation of, like, yeah. I can build a huge fan base on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, mm-hmm. and Gervonta's just, like, not into it. Yeah. And it's neither, you know, I mean, if Gervonta can be successful without it and is happy without it, good for him. Yeah. You know, because sometimes it's just a hot mess being on that yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. You know, I don't think Ryan is just that, you know, at oh, all. He's oh, really, not, not. you go and watch his fights, he can fight. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. I think the weight clause is interesting, and I think Gervonta is using that to his advantage. Um, get A-side. You know, get as much as you can, but, yeah, like, I think, Well, you, you know, know, in I a fight, why put yourself at a disadvantage? Right. Guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but at the end of the day, it's still a fight. It's still a fist to yeah. face, so body, you know what I mean? Yeah. And whoever's going to land is going gonna, is gonna to win. Yeah. You know, whoever's going to land and knock the person out or land and outscore them is going to uh, win, whether weight or weight or not, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day, it's it's a fight. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I think, um, oh, man, I'm blanking on one thing that I heard someone say. 
Uh, I think you he was know, one of Javante's coaches, but go on. W- there was a there was a point uh, piggybacking off of what yeah. you were saying, like them not showing everything. There was a point uh-huh. during uh, Javante Davis's uh, camp where they they had the mitt work. That's what they like, like little pe- shadow boxing, mitt work, shadow, shadow boxing. Yeah. But as soon as they were about to spar, they were like cameras off. Yeah, you could see like, <laughs> checking. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's important. So, you don't want to let. Yeah, because that gets out. Yeah. It's like, okay, this is what you're working on. You know? Yeah. The one thing that they don't show is or talk about is game plan. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that's basically like saying here. That's a huge percentage of it. And then just getting in each other's head, which oh, yeah. you can see that on the media. Mm-hmm. And like even Gervante said, but I think it was like months ago, they saw each other at a club. And Ryan's like, oh, yeah. can we still be friends after? And then Gervante <laughs> just wanted to mess with him. Yeah, yeah. But, you know... I think at the end of the day, it's going to be a great fight. Whoever wins deserves it. But I don't think they're going to hate each other. Because we even nah. saw some other little nah. clip of, like, Roly rolling up yeah. to Gervonta and saying silly stuff. And afterwards, everyone just laughing. So it's like... Afterwards, it's all respect. respect. Once, yeah. you, once you've done, you know, try to beat the hell out of each other, it's all respect afterwards. Yeah. You know, it's, oh, I remember what I said. And it was off. I was going to add on to what you said about Gervonta's footwork. Someone on his team was saying, like, y'all haven't seen Gervonta really dancing around like Ali uh, <laughs> on the ring yet. Yeah. And he's like, you guys are going to prepare to see that. And he's like, I'm not revealing any game plans, but we know he's going to need to move against Ryan. And yeah, you're going to yeah. see him move. So we thought he did awesome against Cruz. Yeah. So, so I'm looking forward to seeing if that plays out. Yeah, and I, I, don't, but, I don't know if Ryan has fought any body that has had that that footwork that can you know yeah but hit and get out of the corner like that yeah. you know who knows what's gonna but happen but they're they're young they're smart they're hungry they're both have a lot of experience and i think this division has like at least seven eight really phenomenal guys yeah looking yeah. forward to more fights in that division after mm-hmm. and yeah. we'll talk about those two but you know won't won't get a, start going off on yeah, that tangent yeah. now, but that's in another video. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, this fight is gonna come down to just like every other fight. Yeah. But this is real. This because this is so big. Yeah, this is gonna come down to who wants it most. Yeah, and like who's hungrier on yeah. that night. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like they're both gonna be bleeding. You know? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be a fight. It's, it's yeah. gonna be a fight and. Do you yeah. want to share your prediction? Or? Uh, um, I think I like both fighters. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this has nothing to do with anything. This is just to do with this fight. I think Javante Davis is going to win. I think yeah. he's going to win. And I don't think it's going to last the full... If it does last the full uh, 12 rounds, I think Ryan's yeah. going to get knocked out in the 12th round. You yeah. know what I mean? But I don't think he is going to win. Is, yeah. He's a great fighter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't see... I don't know. Javante yeah. Davis what, is too, the, he's uh, too tiny. He's too quick. You know what I mean? Man, what was that fight we he's saw strong. recently? strong. Javante Davis is strong. Where we thought the guy got robbed. What was it? But it was on an un- on one of the undercards. I think for oh, the... Uh, oh, I remember that one. I forget what the guy's name is, but he definitely did get robbed. Yeah. That so, cannot uh, as happen. As long as country. the judges... Yeah, please, judges. Get the like, right judges, as folks. As long as it's not going to be some man. bullshit judging. Oh, man. Um, but see, I think I think it's going to go... I think it's going to go up to the 12 rounds. It, but I'm going to guess also as well agree with him with Gervonta... But they, like, Ryan can really, he really has a chance. Yo, his, so, his hook is so, like, you know, I, we saw that one fight where, like, he, he hit that dude, bop, bop, bop. Yeah. All three punches. Yeah. And it was, like, half a second. Oh, yeah. One, two, two, three. three yeah. All that was against landed. the, uh, yeah, his oh, last man. guy. Yeah. You know, it's funny. That was um, fast. That Javon- was really fast. Javante Davis is saying, he was, like, his plan, he was, like, I'm going to drag him out to the deep waters. And then there was that meme, meme. I saw. Yeah. Of Ryan Garcia underneath water saying Javante Davis yeah. is gonna drag me into wa- deep waters, but I can swim, you know, yeah. or something like that. It was the it was little dope. the the soap opera drama yeah. is it's, it's always been fun. fun. We're clearly gonna be we're a part of it, you know. Like I'm I'm excited for this. We're gonna be glued. Yeah, and I think Tank has the better, you know, the upper hand, but 
Anything could happen. Anything could happen. And I'd be happy for either of them to win. As I, long as there's no bullshit judging. Yeah. yeah. And it's like clear. Like, and, and okay. They're, and they're cool at the end of it. Yeah. You know, either way. You know. Yeah, I mean? they're both great. Yeah, but I think, I, yeah. I, I, Javante Davis, I just, yeah. I just think, I don't think he could be beat. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. think there's that fighter that exists yeah. in the division yet. So, yeah. unless somebody new comes yeah. along and... Remember when you Canelo know? was first, like, first fought Mayweather? Oh, yeah. People yeah. were really, you know, yeah. Oh, really, yeah. Mayweather, that was awesome. Well, who knows? But After this fight, no, yeah. you know, Ryan Garcia uh, doesn't come out with the win. It's just going to make him better. Oh, yeah. Just like how it made Canelo yeah. better after he fought yeah. uh, Mayweather. He literally you know? leveled up. He something. leveled up. So, you know. And hey. like, we see uh, Canelo after, you know, yeah. this bivol, you know, after it. Oh, yeah. After. Well, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for these guys. Let us know what you think, who you think's going to win or how many rounds it's going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're excited about this or anything else you want to yeah, share about this fight. Yeah, let, let's talk about it. Predictions down below or whatever you want to put down below. Make sure you subscribe yeah <laughs> and uh you know yeah it's, it's gonna be a hell of a fight we're gonna be glued to the uh the, the pay-per-view when is the pay-per-view pay-per-view yes yeah, this weekend yep so yeah get a couple days a, days away you know, watch yeah. it and you know afterwards let's talk about it again you know yeah. but that's it that's all i got just yeah. uh it's time for the show yeah